Hello everybody! Welcome to today's video. Today is a very special day because it marks day number one on my, or should I say, our video advent calendar. I'm uploading a video from the 1st till the 24th of December all revolving around Christmas and DIYs, recipes, that kind of awesome stuff. But I'm not doing this alone. This is a collaboration with another YouTuber. Her name is Georgia and her channel's name is Carnival of Creativity. So both of us are going to be uploading a video every single day. So 48 videos in total. My first video is going to be a beaded tree star topper, which I'm really excited about. I've never made my own tree Christmas tree topper. So Georgia is gonna upload Christmas tree alternatives today, which is awesome if you do not live in a large space. So make sure to check it out. I'm gonna leave her channel link and the link to her video down below in the info box. And as for this video, we're gonna get started right now. Start off by wrapping some wire around a round object. I used a bottle of nail polish thinner. You can use anything you have around the house. Then twist those ends together to close them. Then cut off the end of the wire, leaving a big good chunk of wire. We're actually creating petals now for our little flower. I used some jewelry pliers, as you can see, to make a sharp edge, kind of like a V of the wire. And then I twisted the ends together. And after I did this, I just shaped the, my petal form using my hands. Once you're done shaping your petal, cut off the excess, leaving about two and a half centimeters, so about an inch on the bottom. And then get your little round um, wire balloon that you made before. And then wrap the petal around the round part to secure it on the round wire. If your wire gets a little bit dented like mine did in the process, that's okay. You're not going to see it later on. But you do make one sure to kind of keep it sort of a round shape. Then cut off the excess as much as you can. And then keep on going until you have something that looks a little bit like this. So once you have enough small petals to kind of fill up the circle. So now that we're done making our small petals, we're going to make bigger ones and we're going to place them in between the smaller ones. Secure them the same way, making sure that the big petals are actually behind the smaller petals. And once I was done with that, I had something that looked like this, which actually looked like a huge mess. And because my wire was so thin and flimsy, I actually decided to glue the petals into place with my glue gun because they just wouldn't stay. If you have a thick wire, you might be able to skip the step. Just arrange them as you go and you'll see that in the end, it's gonna look fine. After you're done securing all the petals into place with a glue gun, start bending the smaller petals to the front to give the tree topper a kind of 3D look and making it look less flat. And when you're done doing that, add another layer of glue working in sections to the middle part, to the round part of the tree topper and start adding beads. I added one layer of moonstones and then after I added some Swarovski, round Swarovski crystals in between that on the top. And then I finished that off by adding a few teardrop shaped pearls to the edge, making it look very 3D and actually kind of like a flower. So now you just have to use the long piece to wrap it around the top of your Christmas tree and you're all done. So this is what it looks like in the end. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to not miss any other of my video series this month. And then make sure to subscribe to and check out Georgia's channel as well. I will see you in my next video, which will be tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.